Lakota Charger C39 here at Haylet Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is uh, what I call a 7309, although it's not quite 7 foot wide, it is 6'9 wide. So it is a little more narrow body, just means it's easier to see uh, around when you're changing lanes going down the highway. This is all aluminum construction, 6'9 uh, wide, 7'6 tall, uh, 3 horse with a 9 foot short wall. This is a shockingly well built trailer. If you really start looking through this, it is amazing amazing the way they construct these and it's all the detail stuff that impresses me and it's it's even down to little things like they give you a little plug buddy here they give you a little plug saver so that your uh your seven-way plug isn't hanging down in the dirt and, and rotting out on you you know they have double propane they have double batteries they have a battery disconnect it's it's just little stuff like that that makes a difference you know they they build in a little sewer tank or a sewer hose holder as it were um, it's just little detail stuff like that that separates it for me But it's the construction side of it that really really amazes me and it's very it's easier to see that once we get inside Three horse slant front escape door notice all three doors do have full drop down windows with the little uh, Safety face gates there now these do lock against the side of the trailer so they're not inclined to go bouncing down the road uh, the way that they anchor these uh, tie downs into the trailer is incredible. If you can get a horse to actually pull this off, then you got bigger problems because you just got a horse to rip a hole through the wall of your trailer. Um, things like this, I, I like to re uh, remind myself, this is 100% LED lit outside uh, and inside actually. This is 100% LED lit inside and out. And that is another one of those areas that this does kind of separate itself from the pack for me. And just little stuff like this, like the way they gusset the fender wells here. This is, this You could use this like a little step, sure. But the primary job of this is to keep those fenders in shape so they don't wobble from wind buffeting or if you rub something uh, uh, accidentally there, if a horse leans on it. You know, they're going to have a lot better chance of holding their shape. They have double flood lighting up top. You know, everything they do seems to be pretty much double of what most other brands do. I will put a Lakota side by side with anything in terms of construction and uh, I, I will hang my hat on this brand. This is something I can sell and be darn proud of. Uh, we did have a little patio awning out here to give you some shade if you're at a long-term event. Notice that on the rump side we still have triple drop down windows so you can get max airflow for your animals going down the road. Now the windows in the, the tailgate here, this is extra large and it does slide open for even more airflow so you, your animals get an enjoyable ride too. Um, you're looking at uh, nicer grade saddle boss saddle holders they do a much better job of keeping your saddles on the rack and off the floor this is all aluminum inside this could all be uh you know broken down and removed if you wanted to so if you want to like load just a big thing in here you can do that like even stuff like this this is all just um scrap cardboard they had at the lakota factory they put this on the floor so that if people are walking through and looking at it today tomorrow whenever you pull this up, this stuff looks brand new the day you take it home. This trailer is designed to be as pristine as possible for you when you do take it home. Uh, again, heavy duty uh, interlocking extruded plank flooring, like heavy duty cattle flooring basically. You know, everything on this is a cut above. Notice that this is fully uh, lined and insulated up here. This is fully finished off in the horse area. They leave no stone unturned. Even little things like this, again the detail stuff. The, uh, the rub rail right here on your kick plate, they put this oversized uh, aluminum shroud on here so that your horse doesn't have a sharp edge they can rub on and cause a sore spot. All of your um, doors are one hand operated and notice how quiet they are. You are not going to spook your animal with that. I mean that's cool. So, uh, we've uh, put padding on your dividers here. We did add a stud curtain to the front divider so that uh, if you have two horses, if you have, you really want a three horse trailer, because you're going to use this right here like a stuff wall. This is where all your bales and your extra tack and your big stuff's going to go. Um, two way air vents for each horse. That's not uncommon in the industry. I do still point it out. Although again, 100% LED lighting inside now is a nice thing I like to talk about. Now look at this kind of stuff. Look at their welds. They're just shockingly clean, and they actually take when they're all done rubbing alcohol and they rub them clean so that you don't see that like black smoke that comes off a dirty weld. Just even from the factory, they have this thing almost detailed by the time you get it. And I do like a pass-through door to get to the bathroom area. It's just convenient for a number of different reasons. Um, <clears throat> we'll come back to the bathroom here. 
I do like pointing out though that on a, a, a nine foot short wall having a full bathroom is not necessarily common either. We do have air conditioner, we do have furnace. Um, this video may be slightly generic. We try to order things as, as similar as possible, but sometimes little changes do sneak through during the season and uh, every now and then um, one or two features might be slightly different from what you see here. But by and large, this video will give you a very good idea. So we have a little jackknife sleeper sofa here with naturally a very nice western motif. There is a little folding leg table hidden up there, by the way, that you can use for uh, almost like a TV tray setup. Extra large window here that does slide open for ventilation. Or, if you need privacy, you got privacy too. Um, the uh, light fixtures are a real cute touch, but you have LED lighting and you have a lot of it in here. Just above the bed, we have six LED lights. And you can also just use like a reading light setup or you can use a full floodlight setup. So you've got lots of lighting and better quality lighting in here. And since it's LED and not incandescent bulbs, it's only gonna sip on the battery. You'll get a lot more use out of this without killing your battery. Um, you know, pretty, uh, there's not a whole lot you can do with the bedroom section of a gooseneck. That's clean. Um, but uh, I do like this extra closet right here. You've got some good storage going on in this. For entertainment, you got your little uh, stereo system over here, AM, FM, CD. Um, <clears throat> spin you around. Because it is 7.6 tall, we have extra large cabinets here that can get you extra storage. 7.6 tall also means if you sit up in bed, you should not expect to bash your head against the ceiling unless you're a big, clumsy goofball like me. Anyway. <clears throat> The, uh, you know, kitchen combination here, fairly rank and file, nothing you haven't really seen before. I do like the, the flush top cover on the stove, that is sharp. And I tell you, man, the, the print they're using on this uh, countertop is sharp looking, but it's detail stuff. You know, the, the corner cuts like this, a lot of manufacturers have trouble getting clean corner cuts like that. And from Lakota, I just see it 10 times out of 10. I don't have trouble with Lakotas coming in with the doors hanging crooked or anything like that. Everything is square. It's straight. It stays that way. We don't have these things come back with any frequency of warranty stuff. Uh, this drawer shocked me. This is huge. I was expecting just like a, a common little silverware drawer, but you could throw flashlights and all kinds of stuff in there. This goes all the way down to the floor, and this is actually a good place to see. They put the linoleum down before anything else, so the linoleum is not going to curl on you. Um, big area under the sink as well if you got some big pots and pans to bring with you. Uh, even a little LED spotlight and some power outlets under the or above the sink area here. Those outlets would be good if you want to set a coffee maker down and have you a pot of coffee in the morning. We do have a true hideaway pocket door right here. Lakota's giving us a nice strap, not a cheap plastic strap that's going to fall apart. They're also giving us a nicer porcelain stool, not a cheap plastic stool. And hey, it's a foot flush, so you don't need your face near your business. You know what I mean, partner? Um, the uh, ceiling fan here, Max Air ceiling fan. This is great. Push one button, the fan turns on, the lid lifts, does it all by itself. You don't even have to think about it. And though you can't tell from home, I can already feel a breeze inside here. These fans are incredible for airflow. Especially if you want to uh, open this little side window over here, it'll get you tons of airflow. But once again, push the button, drops right down, and everything's done. I love that they put the converter up here. If uh, you do have, uh, say, a, a young kid or a neighbor kid running around, it's just not down where they're inclined to monkey with it. I have seen that happen. Now, uh, you know, the big storage pocket back here behind the toilet's great. Gives you a place to keep extra towels and your toilet paper and your tank treatment tablets, all that. Um, I do like, too, this does have a full shower. And it's a shower that a grown person can actually fit into without hitting their head against the ceiling. The extra height's really helping us there. But even the hardware they're using here, this is not the fanciest you could find, but it is a lot better than the cheap white plastic head you tend to find in a lot of cheaper living quarters. Because Lakota is not necessarily made to be cheaper, although they are far more affordable than a lot of them I've seen. But again, you know, this is an awesome working man's living quarter right here because this is something this is if you're looking for the last trailer you ever need to buy lakota is a good option for real give us a call 800-256-5196 and i just about forgot i was telling you all about it this does have a full six cubic foot separate refrigerator and freezer most uh living quarters and nine foot short wall just have a combination fridge freezer that's only this big you're getting like 30 percent more storage out of this as a result of the way that we've spec this one out so again give us a call 800-256-5196. Halo Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails. Thanks, everybody.